Hi friends, Dave Peterson here. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. Thanks for joining me. I've got a couple of new toys I'd like to demonstrate for you. First one is this Fender Champ Amp. This was a kit from the Mojo Tone Company. The second piece of gear that I've gotten recently is this Fryet Power Station 2. They call it an integrated reactance amplifier. To me, basically what it is, is what we used to call an attenuator uh, for the speaker. So what this whole thing is about is doing home recording. And uh, of course, when you're playing in an apartment, like I live in Bangkok, Thailand, in just a one room studio apartment, I can't play very loud. But the thing about tube amps is they don't sound really their best until you crank them up a little bit. Of course, with a little five watt, I think it is a Fender Champ Amp, uh, it doesn't get that loud when it's turned up, but actually five watts is pretty loud and uh, it's still too loud for this apartment building. So let me just demonstrate that first. My audio is going into this Zoom H4n Pro and I can't be constantly adjusting while I'm recording. This is also the, uh, the on off switch. And when you first turn it on, it goes to three. Well, that's nothing. If I turn it just to four, it's really like being on one. So that's acceptable in an, in an apartment situation. But if I turn it up to five, which is the next number, That's about as loud as I would probably want to play in my room here uh, without disturbing the, uh, the woman next door over here. But just to give you an idea, I'm going to turn it from this 5 uh, up to 6 while I play myself counting uh, through my Fender Princeton here. I've got basically an iPod connected to the Fender Princeton. I'm just going to play a C chord up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, okay. eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Now the amp on six. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. The champ amp up to about seven. I'll just play one chord. But see, now I'm overdriving uh, the meters on my Zoom audio recorder. So that won't work. But if I turn it up a little farther than that, that you'll see in a minute, that it starts to add some, uh, some distortion and some breakup. So I'm going to put the amp on five. I'm going out of the out of the uh, speaker out of the amp into the Fryette power station and then out of this to the champ speaker. Right now it's in bypass mode which means nothing is really happening here. So it's just as if I was plugged from the amp straight into the speaker. Now if I put it on operate, now the volume knob gets kicked in here. So now the volume's down pretty far. If I turn the volume up here, I can get close to what we call unity. I'll turn it off, turn it on bypass. Now it's just the amp going straight to the speaker. And now the uh, power station is kicked in. The cool thing about the power station is it's what we call a reactive attenuator. So with the old fashioned type of attenuators, once you turn the amp up, you would really lose a lot of your tone. But with this, you can compensate with these switches. Right now it's all set flat with the uh, presence and the depth knobs uh, completely off. And 
for brightness, now it's on flat, or you can go to bright. I'll switch it up to bright. Okay, and now even brighter, they call it edge. And here's flat again. And with edge. So I don't know if you can hear that, but it adds something nice when you have the amp turned up a bit, but uh, playing low volume. Down here, it's got the, the lower end control. Now it's on flat. I'll move the, uh, the treble back to flat. And if you boost it up once, it's called warm. And one more, it's called deep. I'll, uh, I'll leave this on warm and put this back up to edge. Okay, that's still a bit loud for an apartment, so now I can just crank the volume back and keep pretty much the tone that I had. Well, let me give you the extreme example. If I crank the Champ to 12, which I don't personally care for, uh, it's too broken up, but... Let me switch to my uh, bridge pickup here. Actually, that's kind of cool. Remember that old song? Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. So, uh, that's the most tube distortion you're going to get, but maybe I like it more around eight. That's pretty darn quiet. And I'll turn up the, the power station attenuator. That's pretty cool. I'll switch to the, uh, the bridge and middle. Kind of a good funky. And what's also cool about the power station, it's got an effects loop. So after you get your, your tubes in the sweet spot, you can send that sound here and apply your effects after that. So I've got this simple uh, Zoom G1XON pedal, and I've got various patches set up. Right now it's just the, uh, just a volume uh, pedal. But let me switch to, this one has a little compression, a little chorus, a little delay, a little reverb. Kind of cool. Uh, let me just turn on just reverb. Oop. So this is a uh, simulated spring reverb. The Champ doesn't have reverb, so uh, kind of a cool option. So the Fryette does a bunch of other stuff. It actually has a 50 watt tube amp built in, uh, 6L6s I believe. So if you wanted to play a gig, you could bring a Champ amp, uh, which isn't very loud, and put it into here, and then crank the volume up, uh, get whatever, you sound, whatever sound you want there, and now you can crank it up and plug it into a, a big speaker cabinet. It also has uh, direct outs for recording. Uh, real cool thing is it's got 
uh, impedance switches for both the amp and the speaker. So right now I have it set for a 4 ohm amp and a 4 ohm speaker, but I can use it with my Princeton Reverb, which is 8 ohms, 8 ohms. Or I can plug the Champ amp, the amplifier part, into another speaker like this one, which is 8 ohms, and I just set the impedance for each and everything's cool. Uh, oh, it also has these uh, two knobs, which uh, here's presence and depth uh, when they're completely counterclockwise, they're off. So let me put the presence on half. turn it all the way up, presence. Okay, I'll back that off to about two o'clock and it's got a depth knob. Turn that up about half. Try the uh, bridge pickup again. And the depth all the way up. So there you have it. That's my uh, new setup, my new uh, toys for home recording. Hope you got something out of it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.